Hello, Northwest Phlebotomy team. This is a short video to show you how to manage the blog posts on the website, a new feature we just added. Um, just come to the back end, and then you want to start out by coming to this posts item in the left-hand menu. And then when you click that, you will see a list of all of the existing uh, blog posts on the website. If you need to edit one of those, you can, of course, just click on one of those. Um, <clears throat> I'm assuming usually what you'll be doing is adding a new one, so you'll come right up here and click Add New. I'm just going to go ahead and open this existing one and show you what needs to be filled out here in order to get this done. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there are seven main items you're going to need to worry about. The first one here, of course, is the title, the main title for the um, article. And that is what is going to show up in a number of places. The first one being here on the article before you click into it in the main archive. Second being at the top of that article once you click into it. Uh, and of course, it will also show up um, <clears throat> on the uh, listing here where we just were before so that you can see which, which post it is that you might be wanting to edit. Um, the next item, of course, is just the main text for the article. Uh, it is good to use uh, headlines in this for SEO, so um, you can see that you can click on any of these. It's all set to paragraph, or if I click on one of these, we've got this set as a heading. So <clears throat> this top one is going to be your H1 for the article. Uh, that's just a, you know, a descending series of numbers showing which one is the most important, and then uh, going down from there, sort of outline files. So the H1 is the main one. H2s and H3s uh, help show, um, you know, relevance uh, in terms of how big a subject matter it is for the whole article. So you can just click on one of those and change the headline right here. <clears throat> uh, the next item that you're going to want to worry about is the category, um, and that is what is going to control what shows up here at the top of this, and also what shows up over here in the filtering. So you can see that we have already several categories set up, but they aren't showing at the moment because there's nothing in them. So as you start adding articles to those categories, those things will start to show up over here in the right-hand uh, filtering system. You can add them on the fly, too. All you need to do is click Add New Category and type it in and then click Add, and it will add itself to the list up here. It will also, by default, when you're adding it this way on a blog post, it will, by default, add that post to that category. Uh, you can add posts to multiple categories. You just click them, uh, just like that. You can have them in as many as you want. Uh, the next item to worry about is the next is the featured image down here on the very lower right. Um, that is what will show up, <clears throat> obviously here, again on the archive, and it will show up again here uh, at the top of the article. Um, <clears throat> these are both. Uh, auto-sized, so the one on the main blog is sized and cropped. This one is just sized, so if you put a skinny image in here or a particularly tall image here, uh, it will still show up that way, uh, but it won't be, you know, crazy big or anything. <clears throat> the next item here is the blog options. So there's two of these, one's for the English, one's for the Spanish, uh, and that is for the um, the embed code for the, the audio right here and right here. So those uh, you pull from the play.ht account. Uh, only one of us was able to get in there, so I just have screenshots to show you. I'll send these along in the email, but um, when you go to play.ht, you'll come to this files item in the left-hand menu, and then you'll click on this little you know, this little symbol right here that I have highlighted. When you do, you'll get a pop-up that looks like this, and then this is the code that you copy. You can just click this copy button right here, and then you'll take that, and you will embed it right here. So again, this is for the English one, this is for the Spanish one, and then this one here is just for your Spanish translation. Um, that is the most of it. There are some controls down here for um, 
SEO and social sharing um, so that you can, you know, if somebody does share the post out to their uh, timeline or their uh, personal page, you know, you can give it a title and a description and such uh, for those items as well. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.